So I have a lot to say about this movie and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Anton, here to give you guys another movie review. This time it is for Antebellum. So Antebellum, I, I don't even know where to start with Antebellum. I don't think I can give you the synopsis of this movie without spoiling it. Uh, that's how hard it is to talk about this film because I, I just feel like if I give you the synopsis of the movie it gives away the movie that it's so weird so I'm gonna attempt to try to talk about this movie without spoilers it's gonna be hard forgive me if I just go go over one point over and over again because I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this but what I can say is that this movie attempts to do a lot of things give us a lot of messages but they don't really know how to navigate them. For instance, there's a lot of slavery in this movie. There's a lot of beatings. There's a lot of uh, rape. And they're trying to show you that that stuff that happened in the past is still relevant in today's society, but just in a different way. And I got what they were trying to say. The execution, like I said, didn't really work for me. Again, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to bring a message here. They're trying to make a statement. To me, it just falls flat. Also, in these kind of movies, I notice that they just do scenes just for shock value, right? There's certain scenes in here that you can totally see that they didn't need to stay that long on the shot or they didn't need to do that scene entirely. They could just do stuff where it insinuates the scenes. So when there's a violent scene, they don't need to stay there for two minutes. But again, this is just my preference and this is the way that I would do it. I totally understand why they would do what they're doing. And I keep on repeating myself, it's just not executed well. They also do this back and forth between modern time and not modern time, kind of modern time, just two different situations. And the way that they do the sequences to me kind of brought me out of the film and kind of confused me, leaving me not knowing what kind of tone they were going for or what kind of emotion as me as a viewer I'm supposed to be having. It's tough, man. It, this is a tough movie to talk about because of the subject that they have in here. And I don't want to discourage people from watching this, but for me, as a person that's seen these kind of movies before and have, knows these kind of stories, it, to me, it just gets tired. I don't want to see this stuff anymore. But if I had to say one thing about this movie that is good, um, the acting is great. Uh, Janelle Monet blows it out of the park even though the, the script's a little bit wonky everybody else the side characters are really good um it's just a shame that she's she and everybody else in this film are in this movie <laughs> because i just wanted their talents to be utilized a lot better the cinematography is great the score is really good especially in the beginning of the film so overall guys i don't know this is a tough movie to talk about for me personally did not really enjoy it i thought it was kind of a bore fest at some points and with this kind of movie i think it at least if you don't even if you don't like it i don't think you should be bored by this kind of film but guys let me know what you think of antebellum in the comments down below did you like it did you hate it are you kind of tired of these kind of movies i know it's a little hard subject to talk about because if you say you don't want to see this kind of stuff anymore some people might accuse you of like you know erasing history and all that stuff but let me know. Let's have a civil conversation in the comments down below. And guys, don't forget to check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. And as always, guys, keep watching movies.